And hello guys and welcome to another lap time challenge and as we are claiming our last week or let's say the last TT rewards here we got just the new one which is Blue Moon Bay Speedway in field A with this Dodge Wiper from 2013 which isn't gonna really take that much time to do but you need good guidance if you really want to make it as quick as possible this car is difficult to drive to be honest and I've done only like a couple of laps before I was looking at the global leaderboards and I just thought okay oh wow what's 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 about with this car why am I so slow in here and this was my first try I mean I really tried to stay on the track because this car actually has no brakes I mean I thought about braking but why yeah if you break you slide that's basically it and it took me quite a while I mean I've done a I wouldn't say like a couple of laps, I've done quite a chunk of laps to actually get my lap time, which I did right here, and it, it was it was very interesting at how, how realizing how this car works, it wasn't very simple. I mean, third gear, second gear, you really need to figure all of this out, and I was just going, I mean, around the track, and you can see how much of it slides if you don't get that perfect angle, and if you turn in, the car is just too heavy to turn in I mean second gear it has a lot of power at the same time it will slide and I figured out okay so I have to slide my way into eventually getting a good result or this isn't really going to work and I was actually trying I mean here you can see this is probably the worst corner on the track where you just cannot judge if the car is going to turn or if you're going to crash and it was like a 15.2 and a 15.2 isn't really the best lap time to be honest but next time it was a 15.0 and at the same time I thought okay I'm not usually like three seconds slower and three seconds is quite a lot I mean it's not even the gold it's like silver I mean this is good for silver but trust me guys I mean on such a short track you you don't want to be losing like three three seconds that's that's a lot and then I did like a 14.2 which still wasn't good enough for the gold which was really surprising for me I mean I didn't really know I mean, how is this car supposed to be driven? I mean, I can see I'm just losing control and this bump, I'm gonna talk about the bump, but yeah, very difficult. So I decided to have a look at the replay from the fastest guy in the world and he did three seconds faster lap time than I did. Actually, it was two and a half then, but he breaks a little bit, not too much. He's going trail braking, like controlling the car. I mean, it's, it's incredible because the car usually jumps here a little bit and you just lose control. Here, he's basically sliding into the turn, but now controlling the car with the power and sliding, so power sliding into basically the rest of this track. And of course, I figure out that this might be a good approach because most of the time, if you're just trying to carry the speed, you need to accelerate before the curb. So if you do it with a very slidey car, if you trail brake all the way in with the slidey car, you might lose control, it might snap. So he was actually starting to accelerate before the curb, which was a better way of doing things. So I figured out, okay, maybe I should try something like that. A second gear, I need to control it and I really need to fight the car if I really, you know, just want to get a good result. And you can see, like the car is sliding all the time. Fourth gear, and that was onto the straight. I mean, this was a very good time. And he even tapped the wall right there. And it was still the world number one. That that just proves it and you can see my times right there I was really struggling so I did a couple of laps later and this is the guide so basically I like to start breaking right about here it might be a little bit too early but just so you can make it I kind of break in the straight line do maybe like a couple of degrees going to the left and I want to take like a widest possible entry so I would say kind of in the middle of the track is the safest option but you can take it even wider so 50% on the brakes you can go down but don't go more than let's say 25% off the brakes otherwise the car will snap so you have to hold it at let's say 25% and as you're accelerating as you can see if you straighten up the car and accelerate nothing is going to happen but I was basically I was sliding so I had to kind of drift my way out of this one and when you hit that part like really be careful you even I think you can even lift and get the gold here this is the one where you're not preparing yourself for the this one you're actually preparing yourself for the next corner so cut this one as much as possible but now it's all about controlling the car with the travel so here I mean I try to position it in a way that uh, the weight transfer is not like bouncing I mean I'm not bouncing all the track although I did here just a little bit on the brakes and start accelerating before the curb so you can see the accelerator is going up before 
So this really prevents the car from sliding too much and eventually I will get more speed onto this little straight. So here, this is kind of a tough one because you need to kind of have this line in. So if you take a different line or if you say, let, let's say if you take a wider line, it's not going to work. The car will eventually start to slide. So here, first gear, I probably should have stopped it a little bit more, uh, got under the curb but hold it at about 60-70% as you accelerate and when the car straightens up only then it's good to fully accelerate. It might slide a little bit but if it's straightened up it's okay. 50 means 50% of the brakes. I did about 70-80 which was kind of okay but the car was kind of slidey. I should have I should have broke a little bit before it. I mean, didn't really lose that much time, but the angle just wasn't there. And now, the crucial and the most difficult part of this whole circuit and this whole challenge, if you don't want to crash, of course, is this curb or this corner. And 50-60%, you need to initiate that slide and just let the car go. Which is difficult. I mean, I tried it like a couple of times and it always drifts in a different way. And then, if you get it in a perfect way, you're drifting all the way out of this corner. So the four gear can stop that, it can prevent that, but I do recommend staying in third, you will just get much more speed and much more time. So this was a fairly decent time, I did like 12.8, but it still wasn't, it still wasn't really that great. So I can, kind of analyzed uh, the world number one in my time, and surprisingly, I mean, he was quicker, of course, it, that actually wasn't very surprising. But I took a kind of a wider line, but he took like a more, I would say he got closer to the curb early on. So the the car that he was driving wasn't really sliding that much. He was he was in control of the car and so you can see now that I'm going wide and I'm losing just a lot of time on the way out. So I would maybe it's it's very difficult difficult to say but it's like wide but not too wide. I would say somewhere in the middle of the track is perfect. Here we kind of took the same lines. I mean except that he got on the power earlier, but this you know, this area was kind of okay. I mean, I did I did good. I mean, here, accelerating, I upshifted. I mean, you don't really need to downshift and then upshift. But at that point, it actually felt like it was the right thing to do. Don't do it. Let's see. Third gear and keep it like that. Here, second. But you want to stop the car and you want to stop it closer to the curb. So we can get more rotation and more speed out. You can see that he's not climbing onto the curb, but he's actually very, very close to it. I wasn't. Here, straightening up the car, and that's just a reflection of the previous one. And now, he took a very wide line. I mean, I kind of took the wide line, but I think I broke a little bit later. And eventually, I missed the curb. So, definitely, the curb on the way out is a must. If you don't touch the curb on the left-hand side, you are going to be losing a lot of time. And already, at this point, it was like... 7 tenths, it was a lot. And here, I mean, it was actually good on my part. I did, I would say I did a pretty decent job. It wasn't perfect, but, you know, the, the exit, considering everything else, and considering that I lost about 7 tenths on the other parts of the track, was, was actually fairly decent. So, in the end, this was my lap, and my lap put me into 31st place in the world at that point, which I believe is good enough for this guide, and I think you found... Let's say you find some useful in this one. So if you did, you can always like this, you can always subscribe, or you can even become a member on the channel and help support the channel even further. I mean, maybe I'm pushing too much, but I think like is quite enough. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for uh, watching this video, and until the next time, bye.